All right, Cloud City, welcome on in to another Let's Play that we're going to be tackling for the channel. One that I have been meaning to try, Alan Wake. That's right. Now, I never got a chance to play this back when it released on the 360, but now with the remastered and now with two out, uh, your boy has been very intrigued on playing it and with it being the month of October I am going to jump on in um, now we are already putting out two episodes a day on Final Fantasy 16 um, I think I'm going to put this in, put this out and in, in the middle of the two uh, basically if you've been following the channel Normally, if I'm doing two games as a Let's Play series, we have the longer of the games being the 10 a.m. and 6 p.m. slot Eastern time, of course. And then if I run a, a second game as a Let's Play, that normally gets slotted in at the 2 p.m. time, of course, as stated before, Eastern. Uh, so this is going to be slotted in at the 2 okay let's jump into settings here controls graphics uh hud motion blur film grain disabled yes please uh subtitles enabled audio everything max and then i'll just keep an eye on it it does seem like it is kind of noisy i might actually drop it down three three pegs here try there and then if that doesn't isn't quiet enough or isn't yeah isn't lower lowered enough i will modify it in obs or we'll just go through the settings again anyway jump in new game uh now i've never played this um i'm gonna go on normal i'm not gonna go too crazy stephen king once wrote that nightmares exist outside of logic and there's little fun to be had in explanations they're antithetical to the poetry of fear. In a horror story, the victim keeps asking why, but there can be no explanation, and there shouldn't be one. The unanswered mystery is what stays with us the longest, and it's what we'll remember in the end. My name is Alan Wake. I'm a writer. I think I might have dialed it down a little bit too much. <laughs> I've always had a vivid imagination, but this dream unsettled me. It was wild and dark and weird, even by my standards. So yes, it began with a dream. Following a typical nightmare pattern, I was late, desperately trying to reach my destination, a lighthouse. For some urgent reason, I couldn't remember. I'd been driving too fast down a coastal road to get there. Oh shit. <laughs> he appeared out of nowhere. I'd seen the hitchhiker too late. Womp womp. He was dead. I was convinced they put me in jail and I would never see Alice again. <gasps> He's gone, isn't he? Yeah, he's gone. Suddenly, his body was gone. Episode one, Nightmare. I was in shock from the crash. I could hardly stay on my feet. The art style, I, <clears throat> excuse me, the art style I actually really, really like. Look up to the light. Oh, sorry. No. Uh, yeah. Options, audio. Let's let's bump it. Hold L one to sprint, just like Evil Within. Okay, okay. Light is our friend. 
I had to go to the lighthouse. I knew there was something important waiting for me there. Okay, so we have our health on the upper left. Six pack. Is that a six pack of beer? Oh yeah, buddy. Let's get litty titty. Oh shit, he's right there. You don't even recognize me, do you, Ryder? You think you're gone. You think you just make up stuff. Play with people's wives and children. You think I had to There's a QR code? But really? Can you scan that? Can scan that. What's it up on YouTube? What is this? I was trapped here. I've been for what felt like years. Outside reality. What we count as real. I wrote to find a way out. I wrote to master this place. To learn its secrets. Use that knowledge to rewrite my reality. Once upon a time, I had written hard-boiled crime books set in New York City. Until I was sick of it. The Alex Casey books. A detective solving cases of murder, corruption, and madness in the dark city. This place tapped into my unconscious mind. Drew from there. Twisting what it stole into a nightmare that took shape around me. A mystery. A detective story. I needed a detective to guide me. Echoes of Casey haunted me. Dude, okay, that's cool. So I'm gonna have to keep an eye out for like QR codes and shit like that. Try like right behind me now, isn't he? Okay, no, he, give me, give me enough time to look, look to scan that. You missed your deadline. You can dodge enemy attacks. No one. Oof. I realized that the hitchhiker was a character from the story I've been working on. Dude, the speech is very quiet. Let me I'm just gonna max that speech out. Oh shit, 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 shit. Get the fuck out, get the fuck out, get the fuck out. I didn't sign up for any of this. Just kidding, I did. I, I clicked install. <laughs> God damn it, man, I haven't ran this much since high school. <laughs> <laughs> Are you friend or foe? You gonna try to kill me? Oh shit, he got stuck out there.
Back door. Back door. Tell me, dude. Back door. 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 Told you, back door. You. That's crazy. You can feel the fucking. Your heartbeat and like the haptics. Stay in safe haven. So you are completely healed. Okay, so the light completely heals me. Flashlight appears out of nowhere. Hello, darkness, my old friend. You did it. Now the darkness no longer protects him, but it's still inside, controlling him. He can't be saved. He's still a threat. He is still your enemy. Here, take the gun. Thank you, voice in the sky. Appreciate you. In the nightmare, a terrible darkness was taking over <laughs> just, the world. Just sit there and flash my light at it. Last safe place on Earth. Follow the light. You were enlightened. Dream. I go ahead and refill my ammo. Forty-two pistol rounds. That's pretty. Pretty uh, generous. Here, buddy. Where you at? Did your lightness gone? Down he falls. This is clicking. This is clicking a lot better than it it did uh, when I first tried uh, playing this at launch, when the remaster launched. I don't know why it wasn't clicking with me. I think it's just because I wasn't in the mood for a horror game. That's a, that's a good weapon. That's a very overpowered weapon to begin with. I do, I do like, I do like. He's talking to me? He's talking to me? Death by gravity? Death by gravity. Oh, hey guys. How are you doing? Look like a butterfly, sting like a bee.
Getting low on ammo. I can keep this up Me too. Well, as long as I have ammo. Ah, don't look back. Just go. What the fuck you doing, Cloud? Run. Uh, 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 shit, man. Oh my god. Should have taken more track. Uh. We're at the lighthouse. Baby, just another nightmare. Everything's fine. You dozed off. Right. Anything more than dozed off would be news for everyone. Cheer up, handsome. We're here. Welcome to Bright Falls. Let's act like we're on vacation. Go stand next to that old gentleman there. I want a shot of you with the town in the background. <laughs> sure. I'll even give you a title for the shot. A city boy. Moments before he got eaten by a bear. Hi. Hello there. You picked a good time to visit our town. Deerfest is just two weeks away. Deerfest, huh? Did you hear that, I? You have a lovely wife. And if you don't mind me saying, I I'm Pat May, by the way. Nice to meet you. Yeah, I'm Alan Wake. I won't pretend I don't recognize a famous writer such as yourself, Mr. Wake. A pleasure. I'm an avid reader myself. I hope this isn't too presumptuous of me, but I'm the night host at the local radio station. Any chance I could get an interview? Look, Mr. Maine, I'm on vacation. In fact, I'd appreciate it if we could keep my being here just between the two of us. I'm sure you understand. Fair enough. You can trust me to be concerned. Not a hard man to track down if you change your mind, though. I hope you two have a lovely holiday. What a dick, man. He was nice, but what a dick. I'm just trying to have a good vacation. I want to interview. I want to interview you. Very nice. I got a couple of really good ones. So you made a friend. That's cute. Right. Yeah? Hey, bestseller. That was my favorite writer. Are you there yet? Very. Yeah. We just got here. Are the locals giving you trouble? Say the word, and I'll hop on a plane and come make sure that you're left alone, Al. No, Barry, we're fine. Great, great. Just want to make sure you can relax and recharge. So, how is the place? Has it gotten your creative juices flowing? Barry, we're just settling in. Okay, Al. I'll call back later to make sure you're doing okay. And you call me if there's a problem, okay? Okay. I'm just looking out for you, buddy. Talk to you later. I love you too, Barry. Oh. You know he's going to be calling you every five minutes. Barry is Barry. I can always turn off the phone. What did I tell you? 
text message from Barry. He says hi to you too. Dang man, his wife ain't too half bad looking. Shoot, man. Look at that. Look at that right there. Booty. <laughs> yeah. See, Ryan knows what's up. We need to stop at the local diner to get the cabin key from the landlord. A Mr. Carl Stuckey. He's waiting for us. I'll go fill her up or you get the key. I'll pick you up here in, say, 15 minutes. Sure. Alan, thank you for coming here with me. I love you too. Go on. I'll promise to behave. I'd forgotten there were still places like this. Towns where everybody knew everybody. Welcome to the Oh Dear Diner. Hi, I was wondering if you could help me. I'm looking for... Mr. Wake. Alan, Wake. Oh, God! I am your biggest fan. I know people say that all the time, but I really am. I'm glad to hear that. Rose. Rose, I'm looking for Mr. Stuckey. Carl Stuckey? Carl? Oh, of course, Mr. Wake. He must have gone to visit the restroom. He'll be back in a moment. I can't believe it. I've got all of your books. I got the cutout from the bookstore when they took it out of the window. <laughs> and you keep it here. Well, okay. Good for you. Uh, right. So much for a quiet vacation. Mm -hmm. Try the coffee. Just don't blame me when you fall in love, because it'll break your heart when you have to leave. Rusty here is no longer human. Do me Nothing a favor, Sonny! I could really use a tune right now. Coconut, number six in the jukebox. I'd do it myself. Just in case. But both of my legs have gone to sleep. Bad circulation. Yeah. Are you serious? Coconut again? You disgust me. Call yourself a rocker. Unbelievable. Ah, it does that. Get stuck. Yeah, you need to give it a good solid whack. You put the lime in the coconut, drink them both up. Now that's what I'm talking about. Yes. This is it. I've died and gone to hell. Is it really what it is? Is that really the song? Oops. I think I can handle it now. I didn't want to wait. I wanted to find Stucky to get the key and get out as soon as possible. The waitress was giving me a headache. Overeager fans always did. Hello? Hello? Mr. Stucky? Carl couldn't make it. Unfortunately, he was taken ill. But I have the key for you and instructions on how to get to the lake. Okay. I wish you a good stay in my cabin. I'll come by later to check how you've settled in. And to meet your wife. I insist. Thanks. Fucking creepy. Aldrin Lake is a special place, very inspiring. You got lucky this time, young man. You can hurt yourself in the dark. <laughs> Even that sounds better than your singing. Are you all right? <laughs> the Andersons, they're uh, local musicians. We're waiting for Dr. Hartman to come pick them up. They wandered off from his clinic at the Cauldron Lake Lodge.
Mission accomplished. The key and the directions. My hero. I got some flashlights, just in case. Hey, wait! Mrs. Wake! Your... Your keys! Wait, what? That diner was a real nut house. <laughs> we got the wrong key. Can you believe this place? This would make a wonderful setting for a book. We're supposed to be on vacation, Alice. I'll figure it out when we get back home. Okay? Okay. We can talk about this later. Bad man here on PBF I didn't want to talk about it. I wanted to bury my head in sand. Here's another one of my favorites to go with it. Once upon a time, I was a successful writer. But that was a long time ago. I hadn't been able to write a word in two years. Not since my last book. Diver's Isle. Wow. It's gorgeous, Alan. It's something, all right. Don't worry, honey. I'll get you inside safe and sound before it gets dark. And I've got the flashlight. I know. I'm okay. Alice had a phobia. The fear of darkness. I wanted to make sure we were inside with the lights on before sunset. Okay. I think this is going to be a good place to wrap the first episode on up. Let me know how you guys liked it, and stay tuned. We'll have another one coming your guys' way at a later time.